In this problem, we need to find the remaining trig functions for angle theta. And we're given tangent of theta is negative a half, and we're given the sine of theta is positive. However, we're not told the quadrant that theta is in, and we need to find that to start with so we can draw a picture and then find all the information we need. So the first thing we know is the tangent of theta is negative. So looking at this, hopefully you remember this mnemonic, all students take calculus, which says all the trig functions are positive in quadrant one. The sine of theta and its reciprocal are positive in quadrant two. The tangent of theta and its reciprocal are positive in quadrant three and the cosine of theta and its reciprocal are positive in quadrant four. So remember, we are given that the tangent is negative a half, therefore we know that the tangent of theta is less than zero, it's negative, and where is it negative? Well, the tangent is positive in quadrant one, it's positive in quadrant three, Therefore, it has to be negative in quadrants 2 and quadrant 4. So this happens in quadrant 2 and quadrant 4. The other piece of information we're given is that the sine of theta is greater than 0. So we know the sine of theta is positive. Which quadrants is the sine of theta positive? Well, it's positive in quadrant 1. It's also positive in quadrant two. So looking at this information, what do these two have in common? Well, they obviously are both true in quadrant two. Therefore, I know that my angle theta has to terminate in quadrant two. So now we know that, we're ready to draw our picture. So here's a sketch of just some angle in quadrant two. We draw our little picture. Here's R, here's Y, and here's X. Here's my angle theta in quadrant two. But before I find the exact values, looking at the picture X, goes in this direction, therefore I know x had better be a negative number, y is above the x-axis, so y has to equal some positive number. So the first thing to do is you figure out the signs of x and y depending on the quadrant you're in. So now we're ready to use the fact that the tangent of theta equals negative one-half. So let me write it out again. The tangent of theta is negative one-half. And remember, the definition of the tangent of theta in terms of x, y, and r is y over x. So we have to pick correct values for x and y. So remember, y has to be positive, x has to be negative because we're in quadrant two. Therefore, I'm going to pick y is positive 1 and x is negative 2. Because notice that the y over x is negative, so 1 has to be positive, 1 has to be negative. And we pick the x to be negative and the y to be positive because I'm in quadrant 2. So now I know two things. I can always find the third r by using... Pythagoras, so x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So x is negative 2 squared plus y squared is 1 squared. Negative 2 squared is 4 plus 1 squared is 1 is r squared. So I know the r squared is 5. So I know r has to be, remember, r is always positive. So r is the square root of 5. So now I know y, x, and r. I can find any of the trig functions I want. So let's quickly do that. 
the sine of theta is y over r. Well, y is 1, r is the square root of 5. So that is equal to the sine of theta. And you don't need to rationalize the denominator unless it states in the problem to rationalize the denominator. Now, once I've found the sine of theta, I'm immediately going to find its reciprocal function. Remember, the cosecant of theta is 1 over the sine of theta. And this one I'm going to do the long way. It's 1 over 1 over the square root of 5. Sorry, I'm running out of room here. And how do you do 1 divided by a fraction? You take the reciprocal. So it's just going to be the square root of 5 over 1, which is the square root of 5. So that is the cosecant of theta. So remember, the easiest way to find the reciprocal function is you just take this function and take its reciprocal. So the reciprocal of this is this, which equals that. So now I'm ready to find the cosine of theta. That's x over r. Remember, x is negative 2, r is the square root of 5. So I've now found the cosine of theta. And the reciprocal of the cosine of theta is the secant of theta. And so I'm just going to take the reciprocal of this. So the secant of theta is negative the square root of 5 over 2. So that is equal to the secant of theta. And the only one left to find is the reciprocal of the uh, function I was given originally. I was given the tangent of theta. Therefore, I'm going to squeeze it in here. The cotangent of theta is the reciprocal of negative 1 half, which is negative 2 over 1. So the cotangent of theta is negative 2. So now I've found all remaining trig functions for angle theta.